Perhaps the hardest thing you can possibly do with the iPhone is to take photos at night. That's because the camera of the iPhone has really small sensors. Now, the problem with the small sensor is that less light can reach it. And simply because of how the physics of these camera sensors work, that automatically means that you're gonna have a hard time capturing beautiful photos when it gets dark. So the iPhone camera tends to perform really well during the day when there's a lot of light, but when there's not much light around, it starts to fail quite quickly. Or at least that used to be the case because this iPhone 11 Pro is actually the first iPhone that comes with night mode, which is a brand new camera feature that allows you to capture some extraordinary high quality night photos, even when it's pretty much completely dark. So with night mode, you can literally take the kind of night photos with your iPhone that people with expensive DSLR cameras couldn't take. It's that big of a deal, and I can't wait to show it to you. But of course, night mode is only available on the latest iPhone models. So if you have an older iPhone, don't worry. I'm gonna start this video by showing how you can capture high quality iPhone night photos without night mode, and then we'll have some fun with the new night mode, and I'll show you how to get the most out of this incredibly powerful iPhone camera feature. Now, when we're talking about night photography, it's important to realize that there's no such thing as photography in complete darkness. Because essentially your camera, or in our case, your iPhone, is just a light capturing device. The only thing the camera can capture is light. And if there's no light at all, you simply aren't gonna get a photo. You'll just get a black screen. So night photography is still all about light. And your job as an iPhone night photographer is to find something that's illuminated enough where you could actually take a good photo. Now, this is gonna take some practice at first, but if you walk around any urban area, you're gonna see that a lot of things are actually illuminated at night. Those could be buildings, storefronts, cars, and so on. So there are all sorts of illuminated subjects that you can use, and there are all sorts of light sources. For example, here, we have this beautiful clock, and the clock faces are illuminated. And to me, that light source is actually enough to take an interesting night photo. But as I point my camera up, you're going to see a problem. The clocks, which are the most interesting part of the frame, are overexposed. They're completely white, there isn't any detail, and that's because those clocks are so much brighter than the surrounding night sky. So, how do I fix this? Well, all I have to do is tap and hold my finger on one of those clock faces, and now you'll see that exposure and focus were both locked on the clocks. Now, I can also use the exposure slider, so I'm just gonna adjust exposure down. Not too much, just a little bit. And this is kind of counterintuitive, but if you want to get the best night photo possible, you should actually darken the image a little bit. That way you're gonna get a higher quality image and those highlights, the brightest parts of the image, they're not gonna be overexposed. So you'll have detail in those highlights as well. And I think just about here, we have the correct brightness level. You'll see that the night sky is now essentially completely black and that works for me. And also, those clock faces are no longer overexposed, so you can now see all the detail there. But at the same time, I'll still have enough light in the scene where the frame of the clock can also clearly be seen. And I like how there's some light being reflected off the metallic structure. So I'm quite happy with the shot. So I'm gonna make sure I keep my iPhone as steady as I can. So I'm actually gonna get my elbows just a little bit closer to me so that I'm not all stretched out in front of me like this. Because again, at night and in low light situations in general, any camera movement or camera shake is gonna give you a blurry photo. So you don't want that. You need to keep your phone as steady as you can. And when you're ready, you wanna gently press the shutter. I'm gonna do this a couple of times just to be sure because at night, honestly, you never know if a photo might accidentally turn out blurry. So it's better to be safe than sorry. And that's why I'm always gonna take a few shots so if we now look at the image we've just captured, you'll see that it's perfectly sharp. The exposure is perfect. We have a really dark sky behind our subject and that clock face is exposed just right. And also I really like how the frame of the clock is illuminated. So I think I nailed that exposure. But because I actually made the image darker, because I reduced the exposure, 
I actually made it easier for the iPhone to capture a sharp, high quality photo in these challenging light conditions. So if you do find something that's brightly illuminated, I recommend that you set the exposure there and then go for the darkest image that still looks very good. And that way you'll get the best quality result. Okay, I found another really great photo opportunity for us. And that is this incredible cathedral right here. You notice that this cathedral is also illuminated, so it makes for a great night photo opportunity. I still recommend that you first frame up the shot just with the iPhone handheld. That way you already know if it's gonna work out. So before you invest all the time in setting up the tripod and getting that exact right shot using night mode, you can just quickly see if the framing is gonna work. So you'll notice that this cathedral is perfectly symmetrical and I happen to be standing exactly in the center of the cathedral, even in the center of this fence. And that's for a reason. I want that symmetrical shot. I think symmetry is really gonna work well here. I'm gonna frame up the shot and I'm trying to frame it up as symmetrically as I can. And now as I press the shutter, if I look at this picture, it's pretty clear to me that this composition definitely works. So I'm now gonna get my tripod and get it all set up to capture a beautiful photo using the night mode. If I am shooting on a tripod at night, I definitely don't want to move the iPhone when I press the shutter. So I'm going to be using a remote shutter release. I have my white Apple earbuds with me. So I'm going to plug those into the iPhone. And now I'll be able to take photos using the volume buttons on these earbuds. Okay, I've framed up the shot. I just have the same beautiful symmetrical composition I had before. I'm set up on a tripod, so I'm ready to go. But if I now press the shutter, on these earbuds, you'll see that a photo was captured, but the night mode didn't come on. So what's going on here? Well, the iPhone is set up in such a way where the night mode only comes on if the iPhone thinks it's needed. Now here, since the church is illuminated, the iPhone actually thinks there's enough light in the scene, but I know I can get an even better shot if I'm gonna force the iPhone to use the night mode. So how do I do that? Well, if you look at the top left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see that there's this new icon that wasn't there before. It kind of looks like a moon. So if I tap my finger there, you'll see this slider come up and at the bottom of the screen, it now says auto. That means night mode is on auto. So it's the automatic setting where it may or may not come on. But what I can do is use my finger and go all the way to the right until the max value, and the max value here is four seconds. And those four seconds is gonna be the time of exposure. So that's how long the iPhone will keep taking a photo. So now that I have four seconds selected, I'm gonna once again trigger the shutter. And now you can see that the photo is being captured for four seconds using night mode. And now look at that image. You'll immediately see that it's brighter than the other photo we took without night mode. And because I'm using the night mode, I've been able to actually get more light in the photo. So I have more detail on the church. And I've also recovered some detail in the trees and in the sky behind the church. Because of this, I now have this beautiful photo where the church is brightly illuminated in warm tones and the skies that surrounding the church is dark blue. And that's because we're still shooting at the end of blue hour. So I have this beautiful blue tone of the sky that complements perfectly with the brightly illuminated yellow church. Now, at this point, you might be wondering if you always need to use a tripod when you're shooting with night mode. And the short answer is no. Night mode can be enabled even if you're shooting handheld, but then it's really important that you keep your iPhone as steady as you can for the entire duration of the capture. In my experience, you will get better results if you are on a tripod and also, the iPhone can sense that it's really stable on a tripod. It knows that it's not moving. So night mode will actually allow you to select a longer exposure time if you're shooting on a tripod. So that's another reason to use a tripod for night photography when you have that option. 
Now, one of the limitations that night mode currently has is that it only works with the wide angle 1X view. So at least for this iPhone model, I cannot enable the night mode with my 0.5X or my 2X lenses. It's just not possible, it won't come on. So I like the shot that we've captured. I think it's a really powerful composition, but I'd like to see if I can also get a horizontal shot of this church using the night mode. So to do that, I'm gonna have to step back a little bit. And as I'm doing that, maybe I'll find another angle that's gonna work really well. Okay, I found that horizontal shot I was looking for, and I think it's going to work out really great as well. Now this time, I'm actually not standing exactly in the middle of that church. In fact, if you look at that fence in front of the church, you'll see where that middle is, and I'm clearly standing more to the right. But here, I kind of had to make a choice. I could either be exactly in the middle of that church, but then those trees that are surrounding the church would not be centered in the frame. Now, to me, those trees are really prominent. So this time I chose to center the tower of the church right in the middle between those two trees on my right and on my left. To me, that's going to create the strongest, most symmetrical composition. But now I'd like to take another shot using the night mode. And as always, I am going to select the maximum capture time. And whenever you're shooting with a tripod, there's really no reason to select anything else but maximum. Yes, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, but it's gonna be worth it because you'll get the highest image quality possible. So now I'm at maximum and I'll go ahead and press the shutter. So now a photo is being captured. And look at that. That looks just amazing. Even though it's almost completely dark here, I have this incredible high quality night mode photo you'll see that those trees on the right and on the left are beautifully illuminated. And in the middle of that, I have the church itself, my subject, my focal point. It looks absolutely stunning. And this is the kind of photo that I could only capture using the night mode of my iPhone. Now, if you have night mode available on your iPhone, it's something you absolutely have to try. It is honestly just incredible what kind of photos you can get in almost complete darkness. Now, if you don't have one of the latest iPhones, and if you don't have night mode available, that's okay. You can still do photography at night. Just make sure you find something that's illuminated, set exposure on those highlights, and adjust it down a little bit if you have to. That way, you'll get the highest quality result in even limited light conditions. But if you have night mode available, I think you're going to fall in love with that feature. It's a complete game changer for low light photography. And if you use a tripod and if you force that night mode to use the longest exposure time possible, you're going to get truly incredible results that nobody will ever believe you could capture with your iPhone.